Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to What Would Zig Do Gaming. I'm your host, Zig, and I am here with XCOM 2. So in the previous mission, it was another scanning site mission. Uh, it was a destroy the device. We got through it. We now have a... We now have armor-piercing ammo and a and an incendiary grenade, which is going to be a big deal. Um, especially because we're starting to come up against bigger enemies. Uh, we've got mutons on the field, mechs, berserkers have started coming out, and we are not even at magnetic weapons yet. But we are close. We've got plenty of illyrium and alloys. Um, the only stopgap is going to be supply, but I haven't sold too many of my corpses yet. So... We'll be able to get a big surge of uh, supplies once those weapons drop, and hopefully upgrade pretty much everyone. Um, obviously, we're only going to have the mag we the the mag uh, rifles first, and then we'll have to get the that second magnetic tier. But um, it shouldn't take too long. So we're going to go ahead and hit the globe again. So, we have a lot of things up here that we're going to be able to get really quick because for right now we have uh, boosted scanning speed. So while we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to make contact with Mexico here. Setting course for Mexico. Just to get this out of the way. That took half our intel. Oh, I guess that doesn't work on them. Fantastic. So now we have a new assault. And I don't think there's anybody left to go in here, is there? Nope, just Lance, and he needs to be a PSYOP. Whoop, wrong button. So, no more rookies left. Let's go ahead and get over here. Yeah, we're working on this. So the moment we have magnetic weapons, we're going to hit the black site. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. And we need to look into... <sighs> there is not a conveniently located facility just yet, but we do have a facility lead there if we desperately need one. The aliens have made significant progress toward their goals. New advent facilities are cropping up around the world. Okay, well, this is a problem. So I'm pretty sure the reason this is happening is because, um, or I'm pretty sure the reason we're getting these bigger enemy units. Okay, there we know. We need to we need to take care of this one. Um, we're, the reason we're getting those bigger enemy units is because, um, or the the bigger enemies rather, like the berserker, is because of the uh, avatar based difficulty based on the avatar meter is what the force level is and i haven't been keeping the avatar meter in check so the campaign's just progressing right along so we're at we are at berserkers already which is fucking terrifying for tier one weapons luckily i have the bigger squads so i can handle it a little bit easier and that's kind of the balancing mechanism there um i wouldn't mind the the supplies uh but this is worthless to counter since the because of the way I have the campaign set up, I don't get recruits. So, um, but I could use a new scientist, especially since we still haven't done plated armor. We still have that second, uh, the second research of magnetic weapons to do. So this is a good one to do, and it'll get rid of this overwhelming force, which we were gonna have to cheat to get rid of anyway, because I obviously can't take one sectopod, let alone groups of three or four of them. So let's go ahead and do this one. We are going to have... The scanning site, uh... Or the scanning time reduction actually is kind of a double-edged sword with the way these ca my campaign is set up, because... I could pop a lot of missions really quick, and if I start taking injuries, like... I'm not going to have time to recover between missions. I mean, you saw those scanning times. One day, two day, three day. Um... And my injury times are a lot more than that. So I could end up in a position where I put a lot of my, my squad on the bench here. Um, but anyway, so this is an actual guerrilla op. Uh, so it's going to be on the base 
force level, which means this could be a this could be a difficult mission. So we're gonna make sure to pack a little bit more of our A game. So I'll be back once the uh, squad has been selected, and we'll get ready to rock and roll. Okay, here we are. We are ready to go. Tom and Janet leading this one uh, because we want a little bit more of a presence. Uh, these guys are much higher level than the other. Then uh, Janet is my highest level leader right now. I think maybe next to Jane, her and Jane are probably uh, tied. Uh, Tom, my best gunner. Jay coming back out to provide uh, support. He did very well. He's done very well every time I've had him out. Between his smoke grenade and his use of his gremlin. Front range support is going to be from the madness, Mr. Solomon. Long range support, Milo and Exalt. That will help. They will help to protect the device. All I have to do is get line of sight to the people that are harassing it and then lay them out. Milo is rocking the uh, armor piercing rounds. So now if he comes up against, you know, turrets or mechs or something, he has an answer for that. Um, and then back here we've got Kane. He's going to be bringing out the incendiary grenade. Realm is here to provide uh, psionic support and has the mimic beacon. And then we've got David Cage here to provide uh, the turret and his gunner, his unique form of gunner support that is uh, slightly different from the way Tom does things. We are recognizable at this mo at this time, so that means that they are going to have an increased uh, sight radius or uh, a sight radius and detection radius. So it's going to be a lot more difficult to get the drop on them. But we are uh, we do have some bonuses coming from squad cohesion. So, this mission should prove to set the tone for what the next few missions are going to be like. Uh, we'll see if we are ready to handle it. We have a lot of, we had a lot of upgrades to hand out, so we've got a lot of new, uh, weapon upgrades. Like, Tom's got some extra ammo here. Milo's got three extra shots per clip now. Um, he has the advanced scope. Jay got, uh, a stock. Janet got, uh something i don't even remember what so we were able to dish out a lot of real of really cool stuff so we're gonna go ahead and get moving Okay, so slums. I believe that means that the notoriety will not actually come into play. Um, I can't remember if it's... I think it's slums and uh, wilderness, or it might just be wilderness. I'd have to look it up. But anyway, Operation Tangled Daughter. We are heading into Black Eye Garden in Washington, D.C. Let's do this. Lots of bonuses being handed out. Hostile forces are already moving to destroy the Why did we go over there and look at that? We need to lock down the area and secure the device at all costs. So once again, we don't have any commando troops, so we have no stealth capabilities. So we need to be careful about how we move around a little bit here. Snick! Snick! Understood. Moving out. Then we have no time to waste. Um, let's see here. I guess Milo will just go right here for now. And Exalt will go over here. We'll put Realm. Ah, oh, she could almost get right beside them. That would have been neat. Put Rome right here with the match with the the madness. 
Kane, I want you up front. My other gunner. And finally, Janet. Hold you back a little bit. See, they're already aware that we're, that we're here. Ooh, we've got two of them, huh? That's a small group, though, it looks like. So, because there's two groups there, I don't want to use a grenade or anything. Or, I don't want to set up an Overwatch trap, rather. Um, I only have a few grenades with me at the moment. And we can't actually... Doesn't look like we're going to have the chance to use them. Let's see what happens with here, this here. So I can get two of them, or I can set that thing on fire. I think we're going to blow that cover. We're going to set that thing on fire and maybe kill this dude with the armor. And if we don't kill him, we'll at least shred it. The cream of the crop. So we set that thing on fire. We set some other fires. And now that thing is dangerous for them to take cover behind. So what do we got? 99, now. 95, 90, 72. So ideally, I'd like Milo to take on a, a good target. Um, you, on the other hand, I'm okay with you trying to take this dude out. There we go. Nice shot. Way to start things off. Jay can take care of this guy. Um, let's see here. Let's sir down a dead eye here. And we'll cripple the him. So now Jay can oh no just over what Jay can handle. We'll inspire the madness. Um, let's see here.
if we do slug shot. Who can we reach with this? Just you two. Well, what if we do this? I could run and gun in it, so I could move again to shoot. Plus 50% critical damage. So why don't we do this? Let's try this. Run and gun. Let's get over here in this dude's face. Boom! Yeah, it's exactly how I wanted that to go. You might end up throwing stasis shield on the madness there. Let's throw out an aid on. Yeah, we'll throw it on David here. should take care of that. Um... Let's move Kane up. He'll hopefully take care of this guy. Or he won't. Aid on Kane then. What kind of sectoid are you? Just a normal sectoid, all right. What do we got for hacks? Uh, facility lead. Interesting. Uh, reinforcements. Nope. Don't want to deal with any of that just yet. We can try the facility lead at the end, though. Okay, Jay's gonna... Yeah, actually, Jay will take care of this guy. Yeah, this is turning out really well. Pop! So, if we can bring him down here... Anytime you're ready. There we go! So now she doesn't need to do stasis, she can attack somebody. Uh, we'll wait a turn to do that. So she'll go on Overwatch, and you're last, huh? 
So we will do stasis, but we'll do it on you. That's right. I'm armored up. How exactly are you armored up? I think I gave him formidable, didn't I? Yep, there it is. Make sure that there's no surprise. Oh, I forgot about the Overwatch. Sorry, Janet. That was my fault. That was a dumb move. Okay. Unfortunately, I already used Dead Eye. And it only gives me a 50% chance, or a 10% chance to crit, that's not worth it. So nobody, it seems, has tried to take on that, uh... Tried to blow up my device, though, so that's a good thing. Uh, let's see here. go I shall lead the way oh, not quite Um... Affirmative. See how else we're gonna do this here. Let's start here. <laughs> Position confirmed. I trust you. Maybe I should have tried this first. Let's just knock it out. Oh, that's a shame. So we put a little damage on it and then we'll knock it out. So in that case, we'll just do this. Let's put a hurt on. Uh, let's hold off on that. Let's 
Let's see here. Oh, you still need to go, huh? Well, let's put this guy down then. There is a lot of pain that's going to come over, that could come over there. On the other hand, we can just do this. Oh, but we we'll only get... What? There we go. Get the tomb closest. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Ow! Oof! Get rid of that overwatch. Run realm over here. J right here. Don't move. You'll be fine. That works. Now, Tom. Forget, do I have a I don't have a auto loader on you just yet. Oh, yeah, Milo. Pop! Oh, you feel that? Oh, yeah, you feel that? And Tom can't really do anything. Well, that's not entirely true. Let's, uh...
Grenade out! Boom. Come on, Realm. There we go. That's kind of sick, isn't it? All right, uh, yo, Overwatch. Funny ideas. And I guess you will Overwatch. And you'll do the same. Step closer. I've got more forty fives for you all. Now you're not disoriented anymore, so let's see what you do. You're a stun lancer, which means that you might want to run up and try and poke me with your stick. Or you will put yourself in the worst possible position ever. No crit, huh? Oh, you know what? I bet I know what happens when... I bet I know, uh, understand now why that happens. Seriously, why is nobody firing at the, uh... At the objective. I mean, where is it? Oh! Oh! So I was just on top of them. They didn't have the chance to fire at the objective, I guess. Let's do the scan. Okay, so those must be civilians, so here are the other enemies. One wrong step and your scrap metal. Good. Um, I guess we'll move you up here. Here we go. Yeah, let's not uh, press our luck here. So, sectoid. All right, Kane. They're back there somewhere. Let's see if we can find them. There it is. That's not what I want. I wish I had a battle scanner right about now. Here 
I can rain down destruction. Oh uh, yeah, destruction, huh? Disabling hostile target. Let's see what Jay's chances are here for the hacks. Good job, Jay. Jay, you're more useful here than you ever were at D&D. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was mean. Um... <laughs> All right. Janet, pop that scan again. I want to see exactly where they are. Yeah, yeah, they're not the problem. Okay. Yep. We're not done here yet. Oh. So, Overwatch. No, not Hunker. Come on. Time for planning is past. We must act. Here we go. Headed there now. All right. So I think we're ready to roll. Yep. Wait. Janet can't move anywhere else, so you can Overwatch, Overwatch as well. Alright. Let's use this incendiary grenade. Heads up, grenade! Nice. Get him, Tom! Nicely done. Mission accomplished. That one's mine. So Janet's gonna be out for a little while. But Jane and Sakara should be coming back soon. And Bastille is already already uh, ready to go. See, I'm gonna have to uh, in the coming in the coming month or so. I'm gonna have to make progress towards the Avatar meter. So we're gonna have to take down the black site. We're gonna have to try and do the next part of the storyline, and maybe take down a facility.
I want to try and I want to try and take at least two bars off of the Avatar project in the next month before the end of next month not this month but the month after I want to try and take it down by two at the very least two Yeah, Janet got pretty fucked up. You have done an outstanding job leading the resistance, Commander. Oh, Janet got shaken. Okay, let's go do... There were promotions, right? Yep, here we go. Okay, so what do we got here? Extra conditioning. Running gun cooldown is reduced by one turn. Ooh -hoo. Plus five critical chance for each enemy you can see. And will to survive. He's already got formidable, so I think I want will to survive. Nice little mix of uh, offense and defense on this guy. I'm liking it. Wrong button. Kane going up in level again. Good. Um, all right. So, what do we got? Wilder survives center mash. You do one additional point of damage with your primary weapon or flashbanger. That is a really difficult choice because I I use his rifle a lot. But. For the fact that it's Kane, I want... I think I want Flashbanger, because I just want more options. Because the way he plays characters in a lot of games, he just wants all the options ever. So now Flashbanger, Smoker, he'll have a grenade, he'll have a lot of different tools to bring to the fight. Realm! We'll get you Solace as well. I think I only gave Sustain to one guy, didn't I? I gave it to Ian because he has shit for hit points. Okay, so that's it. So we only have two people that are at the lowest level right now, so I'm going to have to make sure to take Daryl out sometime soon and Margaret. Um, in fact, probably on the very next mission. Um, a lot of people here that don't have... Actually, it's not current. Yeah, it is showing the notoriety. So a lot of people down here that don't have notoriety, and that's a perfect time to be bringing them out is on the scanning site missions. Uh, let everybody else's notoriety drop a little bit. Give them some experience. Um, everybody wins. So that's going to be the end of this video. I love that, that Berserker trophy. That looks amazing. It's going to be the end of this video. So thanks for tuning in and stopping by, folks. I enjoyed having you here for... Uh, this video. I do hope that you're enjoying the content. I'm really enjoying my first legendary playthrough. Now I know that um, I have a lot of mods going on. Propaganda machine working overtime. We're still seeing a steady flow of migrants heading into the cities. I'm not sure they have to do all that much convincing at this point. And I'm not sure I'd trade my freedom for a few hot meals and the cure for the common cold. Well, maybe not. But what about the terminally ill, the elderly, or the disabled? The aliens can offer them something we can't. Something most people would trade anything for. You're wrong about that, Doctor. We can offer them freedom. Even if it means they have to endure the pains of being human. I just hope they see it that way. So anyway, um, I'm really enjoying my first uh, legendary campaign. I know that uh, the difficulty is probably closer to um, Commander or whatever the third difficulty is right now, thanks to all the mods that I have going on. But that's, uh, you know, I I've harped on this before about this game. Um, even before you get into all the mods, it's a very customizable experience. Um, and then once you add in all, once you add in the modding community, 
you can literally tailor it to your exact specifications. Uh, I mean, I, I like the bigger squads because it allows me to play around with the, uh, more classes, especially since I'm using the, the Long War perk pack now. Um, seven base classes all together uh, with three different trees. I mean, there's a lot of options in there that you want to be able to play around with. So having the eight-man squad, now the nine-man squad, um, is really fun for me. But you don't want that by default. You want to... Um, because it'll overwhelm the enemies. So I like having in the mods that I have to change the enemy pod counts uh, to go along with that. All the new enemies that are added in by a better advent helps to bring the difficulty back uh, in their favor. Uh, just e everything that I have going on right now, really, I, I really, really enjoy. I mean, I know that a lot of the mods that I have make the game easier, and I know that a lot of the modifications that I've made to those mods has made the game easier. Like, you see me whenever I have Kayla out, I have lowered the, the cooldown of Lightning Hands to one turn, so she can pop a shot every turn. But that's fun for me. Like, it's it's not about... It's not about having a game that's too difficult for me to win. It's about having a challenge that is a lot of fun. I don't mind if I get beaten by the AI, I just don't want them to be stupid overpowered. Um, which I think is something that you... Some games struggle with. Like... They they introduce these arbitrary difficulty modifiers that really serve no purpose than just to say fuck you. Um, so that's my little rant for this video. I do hope that you're enjoying the content, though. Um, to go back to uh, how we got onto this onto this topic, I do hope that you're enjoying the content because I know I am I am really enjoying this campaign. Um, I think it's my favorite campaign that I've had so far. Uh, I hope that you're going to continue to come back as well. Please remember to like and subscribe. Tell your friends about it. Um, you know, give me, you know, share the videos if you will. Uh, because this, the channel is still building. It's only, I mean, this channel literally is only a few months old. I mean, it, it seems like I've been doing this longer, but I only started this in February. And it is now August. So it's only been around six months. Yeah, that's right. Six months. So, I mean... I think that I've done pretty well for myself so far. Um, you'll probably disagree, but I've been having fun through this entire experience, um, learning how everything works, learning how to do all of the things that make a, a YouTube channel go, uh, if you will. Um, so, with that in mind, uh, I hope that you'll continue to come back and enjoy the content that I'm putting out. Uh, remember, like, subscribe, share. I would really appreciate that. Um, and of course, you know, leave comments down below if you have questions or if you have concerns or if you have criticisms or feedbacks. I mean, I, I'm an obnoxious ass, so I, I might get sarcastic about it, especially if it's an overly negative one where you just pop up and tell me how bad I suck. But I'm not going to I'm not going to take it personally and I'm not going to get upset. It'll, you know, tell me what I'm doing right. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. If you want to see something else, if you'd like to see different content, if you'd like to see different games, give me ideas for what you want to see. Um, I have some more games installed now that I am looking forward to uploading. Uh, but that's a discussion for another time. So, until then, folks, I'm done rambling. Thanks for tuning in and stopping by. Like, subscribe, and tune in next time to see what would Zig do in XCOM 2. I will see you all then.